Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 4 Trophy Guide video. In this video we're going to talk about sub-stories, specifically Sajima and specifically Chapter 3. This is going to be Part 3 of my Chapter 3 uh, sub-story guide. As always we're going to read from Sirik Z's descriptions and I'm going to link to them in my description and I'll link the timestamps at the bottom as well. So we're going to cover Reasons for Revenge and the Dragon Palace Bouncer in this one. So without further ado, Reasons for Revenge. You can only access this after you try the door in West Park. So go to the theatre square, to the stairs leading underground and you'll be approached by an old man who's asking for help. You'll go down and beat up a bunch of jerks and then be told that the bad guy seems to be really angry about something. Head up to the surface via the theatre square stairs and to the spot you started the sub story at. The guy will be back with more. So beat them all up. And then you'll be taken to Iguchi, the ringleader. Beat him and his thugs up. Lots of beat em ups in this one. And you'll end the sub story and get an elegant umbrella, an iron nail, and a banker's piece. Cheat item for Baccarat.
And then the next one is a Dragon Palace Bouncer. So for this one, oddly ordered as number one. This can be done after, this can only be done after Brother and Sister 1. You'll also have to advance the story to the point where you've tried the door in West Park, return to your hideout where Tadashi is, and there'll be a knock on the door. Seems Tadakoro has a job for Saejima. Head to the Dragon Palace near the hotel district and you'll get the fun life of a bouncer. You'll go through the motions automatically and then get 300 casino chips as thanks. As you leave, you'll punch up the guy who was getting uppity. That'll be the end of that substory. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Peace out. Yeah! <laughs> 